Okay, y'all. Got the fire it up. I'm really nervous right now. Wish me luck, y'all. Today's my court date. Gonna find out what happens. Man, I've been telling the truth the entire time. So, it's just nerve wracking, man. It really is nerve wracking. Um, just knowing that somebody's gonna make a decision for me that's gonna affect me for the rest of my life is, is really nerve wracking. I've, I've never gone through anything like this. I never thought I would ever go through anything like this. Yeah, so I'm heading in right now to, uh, to the courthouse and, um, I'll give you guys an update on what's going down, man. Okay, I've arrived. I've been sitting here. I'm hella early. <laughs> so I thought I'd vlog a little bit more. A little bit more Jeep thought. Um, I'm nervous as hell. I've never been this nervous before. Um, and my stomach is queasy. <laughs> Just sitting here. I've almost, I've almost uh, thrown up. If anybody knows me personally, you know that I cannot stand, I can't stand throw up, ugh. And I've almost done it myself. When I get nervous like this, I always feel like I gotta take a leak and I don't. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, as nervous as I am, I know this is the right thing to do because, you know, yeah, I may be nervous. I may be, you know, freaking out. But if uh, if you hit me, no matter how big you are, I'm going to hit back. I've never been somebody just to sit there and take it and lie down and, uh, you know, get kicked around. That's the thing, you know, I, I've always been one to talk my talk. I'd rather talk things out and work things out instead of getting getting to a point to where you know you have to fight it's not a sign of weakness it's just i don't ever see a point in fighting but will if i have to and this is proof of it right here never been so nervous in all my life I, I've, I've got to go in there um i mean i've been prepped they prep you for this kind of thing it's just i don't know what's going to happen after today it's going to determine my future You know, I've, I've been saying this in Texas, man. The laws need to change here. They really do. Because your employers can lie. And there's nothing the employee can do about it. But the employee lies, the employer just fired, they just fire you and them dismiss you and get you out of there. Which is fair. Well, it should happen. Somebody's, uh, trying to take advantage or trying to do something they shouldn't be doing, yeah, they should get fired and, and kick, kick to the curb. But your employer, they can lie, and there's you have to go through all of this just to prove that you're, you're, not, you're not lying. You have to call your employer out, and you have to go through this. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'll keep you guys updated when this is over with. I can't give details, you know what I mean? I can't do that. But I can let you know if it's good or bad. Best case scenario is I need to get help for my back. I need to get medical attention for my back. I need to get compensated for the, my lost wages. I mean, I've, I've drained my bank accounts. Um, this has been, this been going on almost a year. Well, it's been, yeah. Next month will be a year. So... 11 months savings is gone I just I just would like to get that back and I would just like like to uh, move forward and it, really what I want the bare minimum what I want to get out of this is I want to get medical attention I want to get my back better I want the company to take responsibility for her injuring me first off so I can get my back better 
so I can get medical attention, so I can get what I need to get, so I can move forward with my life. Because my grandfather, our pest control company, I would really like to help him with that. Build it up, and right now I can't do any of that. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Whew, my God. <laughs> wow. Um, it started at 11. I mean, started, it started at 8. Uh, 30. And it is now, I don't have a way to tell time. Oh, it's now 11.45. I was in there for a while. Um, that... That was, was crazy. But the thing was, is I stuck to my guns. I stayed to the facts because this is the facts. This is what happened. I can't say anything that's going to happen. I don't know what the judgment's going to be. <sighs> but to see my, my boss showed up. He was the witness. It was crazy. This was a crazy thing to see. The questions they asked me, the company attorney asked me, I had answers to like that because I've been dealing with this for a year and I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs and I am so thankful for my, for my attorney for taking this and doing this. Oh gosh, dude. I, it was like watching a train wreck. Um, the, the ending of it all because it kind of went over time. So the ending of the whole thing, it was like watching a train wreck. So the ending of it all was pretty much watching them just go around in circles and constantly they were doing this. And it just looked like, like they were crumbling. My boss couldn't look me in the eye. When they would ask him straight up questions, I would look him in the eye just to see. I would look him in the eye when they would ask me questions just to see. Even when I was leaving right here, dude, he could not look at me. He looked down. Oh, man. All right, I just want to give you a heads up. I don't know what the judge is going to say. That was That's all I can tell you. I might take that part out about my boss. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Um, I can't tell any more details than that. From my perspective, from where I was, and when I left, my attorney was at a grin ear to ear. Um, we got to wait for the judge to come back with the ruling. It's gonna take a little while. Um, then they can, of course, rebuttal it and do all this other stuff. So it still, it still could take a month or so before I hear anything. But still, just watching that was just, ah, uh, it was like, finally, you know, their lies are crumbling on top of it. That's the way I felt. My personal opinion, the way I felt, was watching, watching them crumble was just, man. And I know they try, dude. They, they, she changed things up and she would ask things differently. It's like she would ask them one way and then this is talking about the company attorney. And she would ask them another. And, but it was the same question. Why would I answer differently? You know, when that was used, oh man, I can't, I can't say, okay, I'm not going to say. I'm just saying I feel good about this. I feel real good. It's just great to see. In my opinion, the way I saw it, these lies were coming to light. And they fell apart. But we'll see what happens when I get when I my attorney said she'll call me. She'll get she'll hear from what the judge what the judge says first off, and she'll call me and let me know what's going on. So as soon as I get that, I will let y'all know. Flip around, flip around. I'm almost heading home, dude. Look, y'all, I feel so good about this. I've been driving home, just thinking, running through everything on my head. I can't. I don't know what the judge is gonna say, and I don't know what the ruling is gonna be. But let's just say I walked out of there with a smile on my face. I felt, I felt good. It felt, it felt good. It felt like it was, it was a good thing. I don't know what is going to happen. I could be completely wrong. You know, who knows? But I really felt, felt good about all this. Yeah, man, I just want to get my back treated. And I just want to get what is owed to me. And once, man, 
that's what I want out of this. And I, 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 I went into this so nervous. I had, I almost puked. I did. I almost puked, man. Probably in the beginning of the video, you see this. Woo! But turn my AC down so y'all can hear me. I just got home. Dude, I feel really good about this. I feel really, really good about this. Um, we'll find out. I am just so thankful I found that. I'm so thankful that that law office was there to help me. For the support, my family and friends that have supported me, that have, that have encouraged me through this. It's still going on. It's an ongoing thing. Um, like I said, but now it's up to the judge. And I'm just walking out of there. I felt so good. I did. I did feel good. I was happy. I was happy. I had, a, I had a smile on my face. My attorney had a smile on her face. That don't mean nothing. That just means that we feel good about it. I feel good about it. So, man. All right. Well, as soon as I find out what the ruling is, I will let you guys know. I'm going to go inside. Probably do some Friday 13th videos later on tonight because I just feel good about it. Um, and I know I got people that like to watch me play Friday 13th. There is going to be September. I'll probably say it in the Friday 13th video. I don't remember. It's just, it's, 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 uh, it's September. Um, I want to say it's the 15th or the 18th that uh, Dead by Daylight is going to be like a free trial on PlayStation 4. And it's going to be 30% off. I got an email about that. Um, on those days, I'm going to play Dead by Daylight and see if I want to buy it. I think if I like that game, I might keep this as a Friday 13th Dead by Daylight channel. We'll, we'll know. We'll find out. But I uh, just want to give that shout out to y'all. My gaming fans out there. Uh, I want to say, I'll, I'll clarify and I will mention it in my um, live stream tonight. I believe it's September 15th to the 18th. In America, I don't know about the rest of the world, just I know about America. I don't know in Europe if it's doing the same thing or not, or, or anywhere else. But I know here in the U.S., the, the U.S. PlayStation Store, um, Dead by Daylight is going to be free from the 15th to the 18th, and it will be 30% off. If that's not correct, I will correct myself in the, in the live feed, and I will also give you all an update on that. Um, clarification on there. But, man... I, I I can't run because of my back. I wanted to jump up and down, and I can't do that because of my back. I just feel good. I do feel good about what happened today. I feel good. So, um, thank you, man. Just want to let y'all know. I'm going to uh, go inside. Like my little curly cue. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to uh, get something to eat for lunch. While I'm eating my lunch, I'm going to, like, I guess, put this whole thing together. And, uh, dude, I feel... I can't jump. I can't run. So I'll just do this. Maybe 2x1! Fight now! Alright, man. I just want to say... Uh, don't lie. If you are going to build a foundation, don't build that foundation on a lie. Build it on the truth. Because... Truth is stronger, and when they push down on it, it ain't gonna break. Man, I gotta tell you, I feel mm, I'm a little hungry. I, I I know I said it was over, and I already did my thing out there, but I might I might switch this around. I just wanna show y'all what I'm getting for lunch. It's a sausage sandwich. Oh, with some mustard, water burger mustard. Uh oh. Well, I love Whataburger mustard. I love Whataburger ketchup. I love Whataburger. I don't like no eat out. Uh, in and out burger or whatever the hell it's called. Whataburger is my place. I love Whataburger. All right, y'all. <laughs> I just wanted to do this. This is like an extra part. Like, boom. So let y'all know how good I feel. Man, I can't jump up and down. And I can't run around in circles because of my back. But I feel like doing that because I just, I just feel good. I feel good about, <laughs> about what, what went down that room today. Oh, man. Whew. All right. So, just want to come inside, enjoy my lunch, 
So I'm doing one or one around. Can't do it. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> Nippy 2x1! That's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna do this. Nippy 2x1! Sign it out! Wait, I don't sign out. I... <laughs>